Okay, so here we are at 3 Sandy Beach Trail. I'm up at the top of the steps here, but the beach, literally, I don't know if you can see through the uh, through the, the trees over there, but that is the parking for the beach. So we're the second row back from the beach. Um, this is the street that goes over to the um, backside of Surf Watch and over to Bradley Circle, just to give you some bearing here. And then Chaplin Park is gonna be down, down the road that way. Um, so this is looking down to the pool. The pool is in the front front of the house, but there are a few out here that, that have that. Um, coming up the steps, they have done a Trex type, type decking here. Uh, there is a, you know, the, 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 the front porch, um, we'd want to have somebody certainly look at, at the front porch to make sure that there aren't any issues with, with the stucco or, or the uh, flooring here, but, uh, I think it's okay. It just needs, you know, the, the shutters need to be painted. Just a few, few touch-ups here and there. So let's go on inside. You come into um, a stone floor and a pretty, really a pretty big foyer area here. Um, that is, it is what it is. It's a little bit of wasted space, to be honest with you, but but it does present itself well in terms of having a nice sense of arrival. Um, going into the kitchen, very open. When I saw this uh, come on the market yesterday, you know, I thought about our conversations that in terms of having a nice big open kitchen that for the family that flowed right into a great room area. And certainly this, this layout lends itself well to what you you know, what we talked about last year. Um, that stone could be changed out a little bit, but there's some things, you know, it was built in 2007, so there are definitely gonna be some things that could be, that, that might be updated. Um, you might wanna do some, some updating over time, but there's nothing that, that stands out as, um, you know, needing to update right away. They have the, the, the wider trim pieces, um, they have the uh, crown molding. There is something, a little bit of something going on here that would have to get vetted out. It looks like probably a, a uh, trunk line going to this vent is, is leaking or, I mean, it may not currently be leaking. They may have fixed it, but, but they, they probably need to do a little bit of repair. Now, the homes down here, as you know, are close. Um, I'm not doing a very good job in showing you that, but you know, this is the, the neighboring home right behind you. Although with, um, with these homes, with the pool being in the front, you're going to be living to the front of the house, not the back of the house. So that definitely, it, it may not never really be, um, be anything to, to think too much about because these people, uh, behind on, on the back side, same thing. They're going to be living to the front of their house rather than the back. So it's not like uh, privacy is, is really compromised at all. You do have an elevator here coming up from the garage level. And then there is, um, there is a half bath over here. Just a little half half bath and then you get start getting into the into the bedrooms. This is a queen queen bedroom with an ensuite bath. Needs a little paint touch up in here. Uh, but nice walk in shower. No no shower seat in there, but nice walk in shower, good vanity, stone floors. They've put I'm sure that they replaced carpet in here and put the uh, laminate floor in there, um, your washer and dryer. Here's where you are in relation to the rest of the house. This your washer and dryer tucked in here, stacked up on this level. This is access down to the basement where they have a ping pong table set up. Um, this is another queen. I'm sorry, king bed, bedroom. And we're on the back side of the house, and this has a tub shower combo in it and a single vanity and we'll run upstairs I'm just gonna pause and run run up the steps
coming up the steps, the steps are carpeted, um, which they probably need to be recarpeted at, at some point, but they, I, they have some life left to them for sure. Um, this is another queen, queen bedroom. Here you have another stacked washer and dryer on this floor, so that's nice. You have a little, um, like over at your sister's, a little little wet bar area, wet sink, and, and refrigerator on this floor, so that's cool. And then this has access out onto the top balcony. Pedestal sink in here, not super functional. I might try and replace that with a vanity eventually. Um, but it's fine for, again, fine for what it is. Walk-in sh tiled shower. And then this goes into another bedroom where they have this set up as a, as a sitting room with a, an upstairs family room, if you will, with a TV. Probably kids can play, you know, play their video games and stuff. They have a bunch of jacks down here. And it doesn't have a solid door on it, so it is truly more of a more of a sitting room of, of sorts. So that's that bedroom kind of connects back back around the laundry is here. And then, excuse me, you have the twin beds in this room. This is actually a, 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 a good size room, I think. Um, I might do something a little different in here, but same setup is downstairs. The, the king bedroom downstairs is about the same size with the commode and the, and the tub shower combo. A little touch up again, little, yeah, there's going to be some, some blemishes here, here and there in this house. It's not brand new, but it, it is presenting itself well. Elevator comes up here. Walk-in closet for, for this bedroom. And then this is a tub shower combo bath. This is on the back side of the house. This is a queen room. It's a little bit smaller in here to give you, so there's, uh, this is barrier trail back behind us. Again, the homes are a little bit close together uh, back there, but you're, it's really just bedrooms backing into bedrooms. And then this is the, the true master. So this has a, you can walk out onto the top balcony from here. It's a nice big, big room. check out the closet in a moment. I just want to step out onto the balcony and then we'll take, take a look at the bath, but nice big room in here. Nice porch. And you can't quite see the, see the beach, but you know it's there. Just to give you an idea, there's the Chaplin Park uh, entrance over, over there. And then this is just looking down down the street. So they have the same floor in the in all of these these bedrooms. I'm gonna check out the uh, the bathroom. So this the you know this is your king bath with the soaking tub the bigger shower, the dual vanities here, and then the, the commode over in here, and walk-in shower, I'm trying to get out of the image here, but this, this is a, oh, the walk-in shower with a window seat, or with a window seat, with a seat, <laughs> with a seat. so that's, that's nice, and then your soaking tub. And you're kind of high up here, so you're looking out past the other the other homes up on this on this level. So we'll go out and down to the um, down to the pool in just a second. Show you the 
walk-in closet in here. You know, I see this home as being, it's not a huge walk-in walk -in closet, but there are certainly many closets in here. If you guys eventually did make this a, a more permanent home, there's a ton of space. You know, there's just, there's, you're, you're not going to lack, lack for space in, in this house, um, in terms of, of bedrooms and things and, and, and closets. So I'm going to pause and go down to the pool. Okay. Now we're down in the garage level. So this is the, just the little ping pong room that they have set up that comes from underneath the steps, that door. And then you have the two garages on either side. This one I have open, so they're, I think they're about identical. You can see they have the flood vents put in here and they, they've put up uh, some protection for and any kind of water. They've raised up the, the, the wood and then they have the, the flow throughs for the, the garages. The vents themselves, I think, it, they needs a little bit of painting, you know, to make it perfect. And certainly, it's not not hurting anything. But but you don't want that you or or an owner doesn't want that wood to start to deteriorate. The 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 deck space down down here, you know, the sun sun deck space down here, um, is not not real large. I don't know if the I personally would probably move all of this back just a little bit. I'd move the bushes back and try and create more more space around around the deck. Um, I don't know if there if if the town would give any kind of problems with that, but I, I can't imagine that they would. This is all the you know the the property space within in this space, but they just have enough room here for for the three chairs. So. Um, that's something that I might, I, I, I probably would, would look into doing that if it were my house. I'd, I'd just push, push these back, keep, you know, use these plants and, and things to give some greenery around, around the, uh, the fence. But just, I think that, they, that you're losing about, what, three, four, five, four feet of more usable space on, on this deck level. Um, I think that this is probably a, a, a little overflow. You can kind of see the yeah where the water would come, be coming out. Um, there is some cracking on around right of, around here, so that would have to be I don't know. That looks to me like it needs maybe needs a little bit of of work done to it. But it's a nice size pool um, for what it is. I, you know can't do can't do laps in it but it, it certainly it, it looks like you could have some fun out here so um okay i hope this helps i will talk to you guys soon